I want to talk about what's going on in our world, saints in the body of Christ and Christians, the elections that if the Lord tarries is coming up in 2016. And I want to talk about people looking at this, it, pitying over the line, and and at the same time the, the about the abortion clinics has come out, Planned Parenthood, and the, and the slaughter of our children. And I am so sick and tired of people um, that call themselves children of God, and and um, they they're concerned more about what's going on to do with animals. Number one, I'm tired of animal abuse myself, um, and I'm sick and tired of. I don't know why people need to go over in Africa and, at, and to. Um, get a line, elephant or draft. I think that's utterly absurd. I don't think we should do that. I think it's wrong. I'm sick of the abuse going on in China and all and um, and uh, Pakistan that killing all them dogs for no apparent reason, just killing dogs. Um, uh, I seen a video of a boy kicking a, uh, I don't know if it was a goat, it looked bigger than a goat, kicking it off the cliff of the mountain just because he can do it and someone filming it, thinking it was cool. I'm sick and tired of the slaughter of of people that God has created in his image and people are cutting their heads off and girls are being raped and I am so sick and tired of the garbage uh, but I am very angry and I'm tired of the babies what did you think, America, that they were doing with these aborted babies? Did you think that they were just throwing them in the garbage pail? No, they're going to make money off of these poor little things. Taking a human life and destroying it and putting it in a, in a, in a, a strainer. The one, if you've seen the video, she had the, the baby that's draining the blood with the, in a strainer. How disgusting can we get a, a people... Of those of the the United States and anywhere God says I knew you before you were crocheted in your mother's womb knitted in your mother's womb what's wrong with you people Saints and you Saints to go and vote for people that are for abortion don't you realize your finance means nothing a human life means everything we got to stand up the night together in the name of Jesus for these children I was just born when this thing came into existence, the abortion that they made legal. But I've stand up against it. When I was 13 years old after I was raped, my mother, this is when abortion first was uh, some brought out to us. And I, my mother, I was, a, I mean, I was a little girl when it first came out, but I mean, I was 13 years old when I was raped. And my mother told me if I was pregnant I was gonna have an abortion and I knew as a 13 year old girl that was a human life and I said no I will not and you will not make me if I am pregnant that baby didn't do anything and people say well for rape or incest I want news for you it's a tragedy what that what a girl goes through because I've been raped I've been molested and I've been and so on with things but I'm telling you when it comes to human life that baby did no one wrong that baby does not deserve to be killed just because we had a tragedy done unto us you could get mad angry I don't care I've been there I would have brought the baby into this world at age 13 they are babies people they're human beings they have a right to exist as we have a right to exist when a person gets where they don't care about human life they will kill anybody anything are you looking over in the middle east life means nothing over there especially if you're a woman you are nothing I ain't trying to be mean or cruel. I have righteous foundation. I am angry in the name of Jesus. I am tired of God's creation being destroyed because of man's selfish, ignorant, demonic ways. We got to stop and stand together as united as children of God, saints of God. If you really know Jesus as your Savior, you better get to know what you're doing. You better know where you stand. Because it don't count as much here as it's going to when you stand before God and you're going to give an account why you did what you did and how you did it and where you did it. 
And if in the United States we have the privilege to walk into a voting booth. And a lot of Christians have not been voting lately. Saying that is our right to vote and stand up. And be accounted in the name of Jesus. This world is evil. They don't care about nothing or nobody. The only thing they care about is self. The Lord said in the end days, good will be called evil and evil will be called good. You heard with Hillary Clinton, she's 100% with family planning. This is an evil demonic organization. I love you and Jesus loves you. But saints, you better know what side you're standing upon and who you vote for on in the United States, who you vote for. Because that baby's everyone that vote Democrats, and I'm not a, I'm, a, I'm an independent. But anybody votes Democrats, and that Democrat stands for abortion, that blood is on your hands of every baby that was aborted. And if I was you, saints, I'd get on my knees and repent of that and tell God to forgive you for doing this. Yes, you will be held accountable for everything you do in your life before God. You could get angry at me. I don't care. Don't leave your hate notes because they ain't going to be answered. I'm asking the saints of God, the true children of the church, of the living body of Christ, stand up together in Jesus' name. Let the righteous anger come out. And you get before God and you tell him, I am so sorry, God, for what we have allowed as Christians as the body of Christ to happen in this God bless America. Forgive us, God, for standing by while this, this atrocities have been going on. This is the slaughter of human life. We got to stand up in the name of Jesus. We got to know whom we believe in. Why we believe in Jesus. Is Jesus really real? Look at them saints that stood around that flag of the pole first day of school. And there's three flags. And only the Christian flag blowed. Church, it's time for us to stand. We're not going out of here as wimps. When the rapture does take place and the dead in Christ will rise first, we which are alive and remain will be caught up together. We will be caught up together with him and them in the air. Jesus is not coming to this earth. Not every eye is going to see him. At the rapture of the saints being distracted from this earth. But the second coming, every eye shall see him. Not the rapture saints. No one's going to see Jesus except us blessed saints. The church, the true body of Christ. The second coming, the whole world will see our Lord and God of the Creator. And we will be coming with Him for the battle of Armageddon. This is not a fairy tale. This is really going to happen. you got to know where you really believe in. Do you really believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you really believe he died on that cross and he took it all upon him to give you a right not to have to go to hell? Do you understand if Jesus did not come and die on the cross, we all would have went to hell? You would have went to hell. I would have went to hell. We all deserve hell because we all are sinners and fell short of his glory. In his blood and resurrection power, he gave us a right to be his and his resurrection power we will be raised from the dead and our physical the ones that are alive and remain will be caught up with them that were dead in the graves and we will have our glorified bodies and them graves will be opened that day you will hear my voice and you'll remember me saying this the graves will be open oh no they're not just going to come out of the ground and nobody know that they came out of the ground they're coming out of the ground and everybody's going to see them come out of the ground there's going to be a hole in that ground. And Jesus is not coming to earth when he distracts us. He's going to be up in the heavens. In the over, uh, over the earth. When he calls us up. And that's going to be soon, saints. So make sure your heart is right before God. 
And that's to all unite together and pray for everybody's families. Even if we never met, seen each other, or talked to each other on the internet. Let's ask the Lord to stand together according to Matthew 18, 2, you agree upon, start touching anything, should be done for all the conditions of heaven for Christ Jesus our Lord. And we will stand together and unite together in the name of Jesus with the families. I love you. And Father God, I come boldly unto your throne in the name of Jesus. Your word can't turn void, God. You, your son, is the living word that dwells within us, the hope of glory within you. I pray we're worthy to escape these things that are coming upon this earth. I pray you give the Holy Ghost boldness in me and all the saints. In the name of Jesus, I ask, Father God, humbly. And I thank you, Jesus, for your glorious name. And we know that you are real, Father. We know your Son is real. We know you're real and the Holy Spirit is real. No weapon formed against us can prosper. And Father God, I thank you that my name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. And if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, say this prayer. Father God in heaven, I receive that I am a sinner. I ask for you forgiveness. I know that you are God of all things. You have created me and made me a way that I don't have to go into um, eternal darkness separated from you. I thank you, Father God, for your love and your kindness. I ask you to come into my heart and to receive you. I ask you to make me the new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And then... Father God, I ask for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Speaking in the evidence of tongues, that I can pray the perfect will of God through the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Now, all heaven is rejoicing over your birth. All heaven is rejoicing. God, they're glorifying God. They're glorifying Jesus. And they're holding your name up before him. Welcome to the family, God. We love you, this body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we know soon you're coming to take us home. The camel train is about to happen. The wedding feast is about to come. Jesus loves you as he loves me. Jesus is truly real. He's alive. He created you. He created me. In his image we stand. Welcome home to the body of Christ. To you who accepted him as your savior. Seek his face. Read his word. Read the King James Version. Get a Jimmy Swagger's Bible which will explain what the scripture is saying. And the Lord loves you. And he is coming soon. Maranatha to all the youths. I love you. I'm not trying to be mean. You got to stand up for what we believe in. And that is the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he done on that cross. Over 2,000 years ago. And he is, I am from the foundation of this world. He always was and he always will be. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. God does not change. Only humans change with their opinion and they are getting to an evil perverse generation Jesus Christ is about to come yeah. I love you